Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to depot the Milani Most Loved Mattes palette. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you the first things, that you, the things that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need an empty palette. Um, this palette's actually not empty. I've already put my Pure Passion palette in it. I'll show you real quick. Um, there's the shadows. You're also going to need some labels so you can name your eyeshadows. My husband got these for me at his work and I've already got the names of the shadows I'm going to be depotting at, on them. Um, also you're going to need a heat source and some aluminum foil or parchment paper. Um, I'm just using my hair straightener and a piece of aluminum foil over it. And you're going to need some acetone or alcohol to remove the glue. I'm going to try um, alcohol today, but if alcohol doesn't work, then I'll go to acetone. And a plate to let your um, pans soak in to get the adhesive off. So let's go ahead and get started with the first part, which is getting this part. Um, this tray right here is separate inside of here, so we have to get this tray out that holds all of the um, eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so once your hair straightener is heated up, mine is, you go ahead and place your palette. Oh, I forgot that you're going to need a butter knife as well to pry these out. Um, go ahead and start rubbing your palette over the plate with the foil just to heat everything up and loosen up the adhesive. Now there is some strong adhesive on these palettes, but I will be right back um, once it's heated up and we'll pry out the tray that's holding the shadows. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try and separate the tray from the palette. And if it's not warmed up enough, then I'll run it over and we'll try again. So let's go ahead and try. Just wedge your butter knife in here and start to pop up the shadows. Don't worry about it bending the pans because it doesn't. I was very worried about that. And they are still pretty stuck. But I'm just going to right now loosen up what I can. Okay, um, so I got them out. Okay, there's the tray that holds the eyeshadows. And here is the empty palette. You can see there's a lot of adhesive on there. It's pretty warm. I'm going to set that aside. My daughter wants that to play with. Okay, so now we have to run these shadows um, over our foil and straightener. So I'll set that up and start doing that. going to work on this corner here. Actually, um, I kind of dug my finger in some of them last time when I tried it, so I'm just going to work on small sections here to warm up the glue. I do already have all the names of these written out. Okay, so I'm going to try and pop out this corner shadow. Now it's going to be really, really hot, so I have to be careful. And Milani really did use some good adhesive with these. Yeah, the bottom is pretty warm, but there is my first shadow. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get all of the other shadows warmed up and out, and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, so I got my shadows out, and now I have to get the adhesive off of the backs of them. So you have three choices. You could go the non-harsh chemical way, or you could go the other not-as-harsh chemical way. Um, you could use alcohol, you could use acetone, or you could use a remover like um, Goo Gone, which I tried that and I got some in the eyeshadows from my last time, and I just don't think it's safe to put on my eyes. So I'm going to try alcohol and let soak in a plate, um, let them soak in a plate, and then I'm going to get a towel and just kind of wipe the bottoms on the towel. I'll show you the process and we'll see how it works. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to use acetone. So I'll be right, right back to show you that process. Now I want to say make sure your heating source is off and um, away from any of these chemicals that I'm going to be showing you to use. So, I'll be right back. Alright, you guys. I've been sitting here for hours working on getting the adhesive off of these eyeshadows. And the adhesive is insane on these. I tried acetone. I tried linoleum soak in alcohol. Not working. It didn't work. So, I got my husband's goo gone. I did not want to have to use this. But... I mean, it works. You just have to be super duper careful and let it soak for as long as you can tolerate. Get a butter knife and scrape off the adhesive on the back. And then, um, kind of, I've just kind of been wiping it around on this paper towel like this. And it kind of brings it off. I spray this with Goo Gone. Then wipe the eyeshadow on once I've scraped off the adhesive. And then I wipe it down and get the, the Goo Gone off and then I put the label on. So I'm going to finish scraping this one and getting it clean. And then I'll show it with the label and then I'll show you the finished palette once I've got all of them in there. So stay tuned for that. Hey everyone. So I never got back with you all about my Tarte palettes um, where I depotted my Milani shadows. Show. Show. So... I want to show you the finished palettes and what all I put in there and how many you can actually fit in these things. These are big palettes, you guys. Um, so I was able to fit my Milani, wait, that's the wrong palette. Um, I was able to fit two Milani palettes and almost all of my Wet n Wild shadows into one palette. And this is what it looks like. And it is just completely full of shadows. Now, I did want to go in a little bit of depth about how hard it was with the Milani shadows. It's almost like the company just does not want you to get them out of the palette because they were so, so hard to get out. Um, the, it should be, I should just say the adhesive was insane. Um, I don't know what kind of adhesive they were using, but it did not want to come off of the palettes at all. So, um, you're going to have to figure out something really good to remove it with. I tried acetone, I tried, um, what else did I try? I tried alcohol, I tried, um, Goo Gone. Goo Gone worked, but it took a long time for it to soak through all that adhesive. And, um, but it finally did get through. And also, I want to say that the pans for the Milani palettes are metal, so they are going to fit into a magnetic palette without having to put strips of magnets on them. The Wet n Wild shadows, they were not metal, so I had to add magnetic strips to the backs of them. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad to be done with that. I don't think I'm going to um, end up depotting my Bold Obsessions palette just because it took hours for me to get it done with the Milani palettes that I did. And some of them I got goo gone in them and I probably should have just thrown them away like the shadows I got it in. But I'm going to see, I mean I'm going to test them and see if they're okay. I guess I'll do a skin test and see if I get a rash or anything. And if I don't then they'll be okay. But I do want to show you in my other palette what I did. Um, I did depot my ColourPop Semi Precious palette and my ColourPop Kathleen Lights palette. And I put them in the Leopard Print palette. 
and I love ColourPop shadows. I'm just going to say that right now. They were so easy, so easy to get out of the, the palettes. The, the Semi Precious palette I destroyed trying to get the shadows out and then I got them out and I was like there's no glue. They're in here so easy like you just pop them out with like a needle and I was like oh my gosh I can't believe I just destroyed this palette. So what I did was with the um, Kathleen Lotz palette and the De Dream Street palette, I um, just cut a needle, popped them out, and gave my daughter the old palette. But here is my Semi Precious and my Kathleen Lotz Dream Street palettes in there and a couple of Wet n Wild shadows that just didn't fit. Um, now I do want to get a smaller, uh, more compact palette to put just like four shadows in so I can focus on those trios that I wanted to hit pan on this year from Wet n Wild. Um, I still have been focusing very strongly on my Milani Bold Obsessions and I feel like any day now I'm going to hit pan on at least one shade and I will do an update if I do. But I am so glad to be done with depotting those palettes. Um, I don't think I'm going to be do, doing any potting for a long time just because it was a lot of work and yeah. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for trying to depot your own Milani palettes. Let me know um, if you all have any suggestions on for the future, like something to remove the adhesive because that was the toughest part, the longest part. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all soon.